Hi everyone, welcome back. Captain Paul Clark here from Motor Yacht Loon. We have got such an amazing video for you this week. Behind me, Loon 180. This is the first time both the Loons have been together and doing a tandem charter ever. So we have some really cool stuff going on. We have uh, stern ties, raft ups, just big parties, and we're gonna bring it all to you. 24 guests, 35 crew, 301 foot of boat. Just gonna be an absolutely amazing week. So stick around the rest of the video and check out what we get up to. Yeah, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Yeah, just getting stuck in there, getting Yum. stuck in. Oh, it's Daisy. Some, uh, Tuscan rub going on here, so. Ooh. Yeah, getting to do some barbecue pork for din dins. Lovely. Yeah, yeah. Just going to be good, mate. Oh, what are you guys up to? We're well, going to be planning. Discussing uh, the menu, yeah. So, we've got barbecue dinner tonight, so we're going to get some ribs on there. Ooh. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just, just oh, yeah. Figuring out what we're going to do for dessert. That's well. Yeah. I haven't had a camera in my face before, so you're just making me just. No, you got this. You're gonna, you're gonna smash it. Yeah. So today I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> For this charter, we're doing something a little bit different. It's a tandem charter, and we've decided to have a guest galley on the big loon and a crew galley on the other loon, which means basically we're gonna tag team all the meals. I think um, Dan and I are gonna be in here crushing out uh, lunch and dinner for 24 guests. And the boys... 35 crew? 35 crew over in that galley. So uh, what would you rather be doing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Less people. We've decided to do... Um, all the meals are going to be family style. Yeah. Um, so buffet, and we're going to do lots of barbecues. Yeah. Pizza nights. Pizza nights. Um, and have it really sort of involved with guests and crew and making it fun and relaxed. But it's gonna be big numbers, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Lots of peeps. Lots of peeps. Lots of hungry meals. We got it, we got it. Got this day. Easy, easy, mate. <laughs> Boom. Okay, cool. So we have just left Nina and Danny and I've made my way to Loon 180 just on the other side of the dock. And we're now going to speak to Sean and Tomas to see their plans for the charter. So we'll go inside. What is going on here, boys? Look at this. For 34 hey. people. So they've actually given us our own galley. The two sous chefs are together on yeah. loons. The two headers are over there. They don't know what they install for. <laughs> Awesome. We are Good literally, stuff. there's no one to run and pick up tomatoes and a can of this and a can of that. <laughs> we are our own bosses now. He speaks too soon, that's what he does. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what's coming either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're busy doing um, crew lunches and crew dinners from 180. Nina and Dana are in 220. I assume Blair was there already. Yeah. yeah. And they've probably said that we're going to work really hard, but in all honesty, we're not. Um, we've got this <laughs> down to a T. We know yeah. exactly what we're going to do. Um, we've got some lovely fresh tomatoes going out for lunch. We've got a bit of pasta going, duck legs. Um, we're going for a healthy vibe right, today. Everything's going healthy. Yeah. Boys are gonna, it's competition now. Keep the crew happy, keep the crew yeah. healthy. 100%. It's be a good week. <laughs> <laughs> Epic, nice boys. I hope you smash it. Cheers, my dogs. This is Dill. He is the videographer on Loon 180. I don't think you've met him before, have we? Nah, I haven't yeah. been on screen yet. Yeah, I'm this on the other side. <laughs> This is Dill's first time, so I'm gonna be working super closely with him this charter. We're gonna try and make a really big, like maybe 20 minute long guest video of this trip. And um, yeah, just get as much content as possible. Maximize everything while the two loons are together. So yeah, it should be pretty good. epic. Got both of the, well, relative guest friends on both boats. So between the two of us, I guess we'll share it. We'll make one, one combined video as opposed to the two that we usually do, or one that we would usually do for each boat. Yeah, we'll spend some time on, on both boats, so we're going to have some fun. Yeah. We need to work with Blair for a bit. Yeah, show them show how we do it big boat style. <laughs> no, here we go, here we go. Big boat for it. <laughs> Epic.
Okay, so we picked up guests maybe about an hour or two ago. We had a great big lunch here on the dock between the two boats with all 24 guests. Now we're throwing lines 180s first. They've got the pilot on board. The pilot's gonna help them come out. There you go, you can hear their bow thruster now. They're just gonna back it out here. They're gonna take about a mile path out of Dubrovnik Harbor. Drop the pilot off. He's gonna jump on the pilot boat, quickly nip back to us, and then we're gonna follow in the same path out, and then we're gonna catch up to them. We're gonna do a nice big side-by-side -side run. We've got about 10, 11 miles to go up to Ston. Nice big stern tie for the evening. All the toys out and a massive party to be had. It's been so cool, and it's gonna be an awesome, awesome trip. Okay, so now it's our turn. We've got the pilot on board. We just pulled off the dock. We're backing around. I'm now just spinning her over. And then we're going to make our way out of Dubrovnik Harbor, quickly catch up to one, uh, Loon 180. We're a little faster than her, so not really a worry. And then uh, we've got about an hour passage over to Ston for an uh, evening stern tie. So, beautiful day. Check it out. How cool is this? Both boats, side by side, cruising along, both doing about 11 knots right now. I've got it on the hand steering, so we're just maintaining a little bit of distance, making sure that we don't interact too much. But uh, you don't see this every day. Two massive yachts, side by side, cruising like this, just before a little tender went between us, which is pretty funny to watch. I'm quite brave on their behalf, but awesome. So cool to have both boats together. Okay, so we've just arrived at our anchorage for the night. We're just outside of Ston. It's just around the corner and about five or six miles down here. Uh, you see 180 behind us. We're a little faster, so we beat them here. Uh, you know, we'll win every race. Um, so we're just preparing for tonight. We're going to do a stern tie to the rocks. There's a little beach off the back. It's only maybe five or six meters big. So when I say a little beach, it's a very little beach, but still pretty nether nevertheless. So um, we're going to come in now we're going to drop anchors first i'm going to drop my port anchor drop about 200 meters of chain go over drop my starboard chain and then back it in and then 180 is going to come in behind us and they're just going to drop one anchor and then tie up next to us so we're side to side fender to fender and we're going to have a big party tonight everyone's going to be together we're going to turn the music up and have a couple of drinks and it's going to be an awesome night so uh yeah hey mate off of the beach there can you find the four meter contour line for me please and there is bjorn he's a uh, pretty stoked he's finally become a captain <laughs> so, <laughs> there he is yeah. okay so what's happening now is you can hear the anchors running Paul's just dropped the port anchor he's gonna then move over across to where we're gonna drop our starboard anchor drop that and we're gonna slowly come back on our anchor chains with them both running uh, back up to the rocks and then send our stern lines across and we will attach to the rocks and then tighten up in our anchor chains to pull us off the rocks. As soon as we're all ready to go, Loon 180 is going to come into position and they're just going to come up really nice and slow alongside, send lines over to us and then we're going to be rafted up together. So we'll walk you through how this all happens. see behind me Bjorn is in the Anvera and he's on the four meter contour line just marking the position so that Paul can see exactly where his stern needs to go uh, obviously it's super shallow towards the rocks so he's on that that very limit we've got a 3.8 meter draft he's sitting on that four meter line and that's exactly where we're going to stop so as soon as we start backing up he's going to move out the way and we will come right to where he's sitting to get as close to the rocks as possible and uh, yeah hopefully it all goes well
Okay, so we're all docked up and situated. The sun's started to drop behind the islands and uh, 180's just about to come on, touch fenders, throw lines, and we're gonna have a beautiful night docked here. So it's gonna be a good one. What is going on here, Nina? Uh, so we have, we're in Ston right now, which is a beautiful place in Croatia which is known for its fantastic mussels and oysters. So the guests have asked for a local seafood lunch. So we've gone and gotten 30, I think 30 kilos of mussels, which is over half my body weight. Um, and 200 oysters, 200. So, oh, sorry, Shawnee's calling me. Probably 2,000 mussels. Chef, chef. <laughs> Here we go, this, this is half. Ooh. That Every is. single one of these needs to be scrubbed and then the beard pulled out. So. Got a lot of work to do, Dano. That's a lot of work. You've got to do that another like, like 5,000 times. But. <laughs> okay, cool. So I've just left the madness in the galley with all those muscles and come outside and uh, seen all of our insane tenders in the water just ready to go. So we've got the Ski Nautique, our X-Craft Beach Lander, and our brand new Envero 48 chase boat, which is insane. So we are ready to go for an action-packed day. And um, over on our starboard side, I'll try and take you there now, but there are guests on board. Uh, we have Loon 180 just rafted up right next to us, which is really weird because I've never come outside in the mornings. I normally do a little walk around in the mornings on deck, and oh, there's a whole nother boat next to us, <laughs> which is, Quite a surprise, but yeah, it's, it's awesome to see. Uh, just because we're uh, side to side, we're good friends with the guys next door on, on uh, 180. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's always a good time to have a little bit of friendly rivalry and uh, just play some innocent little jokes on each other. As obviously we're the bigger loon, we're the A team, as we like to call ourselves. And they call us that too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, but you know they're definitely at this point our yeah. tender. So they are another one of our tenders and all tenders must have TT written yeah. on the side, tender two. Yeah. So we figured that we should, since their name board is nice and close to us, add a little TT to it. So I've got the black tape, I've got some double-sided tape, we've got a long pole to reach over and, we, and we're gonna go stick a little TT on the side and then see how long it takes them to notice. So uh, yeah. let's get at it. So, yeah, it's gotta go that way. Let's together. that. <laughs> right. To make sure no one's looking. Okay, we're good. I think we're clear. Go. That nice. <laughs> quick, quick, quick. <laughs> Three more pieces. <laughs> yes. Sweet. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now we've got the, the downside of the T. We actually are uh, upgraded model. Um, we've got the all on one now, so we don't have to teamwork. And then he's got the padder. So. Check, are we clear? Are we clear? Yeah, we're clear. Alright. Oh. Nice. <laughs> that is a very long tee. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it'll do. Let's see this. A couple of months ago in Marseille, when we were tied up in both both in Marseille, someone may in the middle of the night climbed up to the top of their mast and put a inflatable mannequin if you know what I mean, <laughs> on the top of their mast. We haven't released that footage yet. So, but we're definitely, we're striking first, but we know that they're, uh, they're gonna strike back. Yeah. So, there you go. We're just, now we're gonna do a pose, but uh, tell, us, tell us what you guys think. Give us some comments, maybe what we can do next time. Yeah. And uh, you know, we've always gotta be no damage to the boat, doesn't interrupt guest operations, but just good, good you, fun. Good fun. Yeah you know, harmless little pranks on each other, so. Yeah. We're starting a company, as you can see. <laughs> really yeah, good at this. decals, <laughs> a sign company.
Hi guys, uh, good evening everyone. So we've just about run out of fuel in our chase boat already. The deckies have used it all up. So we're getting the chance to bunker this boat for the very first time. Uh, right here is our bunker station. Uh, we take this fuel from the same service tanks that the main engines run on. So it's a nice, clean, purified fuel. And we're gonna transfer from here across there and we'll follow pretty much the same procedure we would do if we're taking fuel from the shore and bringing it aboard. Awesome, thank you. I'd just like to say a special mention to Don. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a great job, <laughs> From here, we'll make sure we're checking our levels on this boat and on this one. We're going to have somebody based here, so we'll make sure there's no leaks. Make a monitor this level while we're on board and we're monitoring there. Okay, so we're up to about 47% now. Uh, the gauge doesn't really work very linear linearly. Yeah, it's not true. very. Is that what, yeah, that's right. Sure, why not? Um, it's in, it sort of jumps 42, 47. So we're coming up to uh, where we're about, where about to want to finish now. Um, so we're going to pump just for a few more minutes, and then I'm going to ask Dom, who's just on the boat there now, uh, to shut off uh, the pump, which is our air pump. So he's going to turn off the air, and he's going to close the valves there. I'm going to close this valve here, and very carefully get this hose back on board without spilling a drop. Close this up and uh, close our permit, and call it a day. Dom, Dom. Shut it off, please. Just above where we're looking to be at, that's 53%. We're aiming for 50, so we've gone 3% over, but honestly, not a problem at all. So I say that is a job well done. Alex is going to do this as smoothly as possible, spilling not lovely drop. diesel all over the deckies' teeth. <laughs> they will be his best hey, friend. We fill their tenders, I think it's only fair, right? <laughs> Yeah, so now we're closing up. We're going to put our soap up, get away. Uh, I'm going to finish paperwork that we'd uh, keep just for ourselves on this. And then, uh, yeah, make sure everything's happy. Check our fuel levels again on board. Top them up if we need to. And uh, yeah, and have a beer. Awesome. Now we're ready to turn and burn tomorrow morning. We are ready to turn and burn. Okay, good morning. So uh, here we go. We've got uh, Loon 180. We've just broken our uh, raft up for the, for the last two nights. We've been tied up here in our Ston, been a beautiful anchorage, one of the most spectacular ones that I think we've been in in a long time. And now we're going to move over, it's about a 20 mile, 17 mile passage over to Miet, where we're going to spend the next uh, 24 hours or so. Uh, we've got an e-bike tour this afternoon and a lot of other really cool activities. We're going to try and do a bit of a different raft up, which we're super excited about. But um, how cool is this? So there goes 180. We're gonna, as soon as they're clear of us, they're picking up their anchor now. We're going to move off and we're going to be right behind them. We've got a flare down there, you might be able to see him. Uh, Looking for his drone, I'll throw him a GoPro in a second. He doesn't normally like us documenting him uh, losing his drones, but it's uh, but we like to rip him up about it pretty bad. So, let's see if he gets it. Hey Blair! Tell Paul, but I'm quite proud of this one actually. It was a really good shot, and I hit 180. So, no, I'm joking, I didn't hit them. Maybe uh, just a bit, a bit of a bump, but it's better than all of the other crashes I've had. And this one is recording, so you guys should be able to see it, which always helps. So, it's just another day, another lost drone. Not the best, but it's okay. I think I can see it. It looks like it's underneath me. Both boats have now left 
and they are on their way to our next anchorage so we need to catch up with them quickly and uh, get the day on the go. Now is the perfect time to show you the footage because I hope it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so here comes 180, a little bit chaotic right now. We're trying to get our pool out just before they get in close. We're about to throw heaving lines over as they get a little bit closer in. And then we'll, and then from there, we'll put them on capstans and pull ourselves in. But uh, it's, all, it's all happening, looking good. Yep. Beautiful day for it. Uh, we're just about to throw our heaving lines over to 180. Um, Joe's gonna catch mine and then we're gonna throw it across to theirs. They're gonna tie it off and then we're gonna slowly bring the two boats again together. And then the SPEs are gonna touch and then We'll see where it goes from there. Paul's currently going out on our starboard side. Boys are running around like mad chickens, um, but we're getting there. Okay, so we've got both lines on over now. We're just trying to get them in line with us. So I'm just taking the slack out of the lines as they come. Captain Jay over there is just walking the whole boat to starboard. But uh, getting, getting pretty close. Awesome. I would say that is an absolutely total success. All the crew worked perfectly. We've got two anchors out, two stern lines. They've got two anchors out, two stern lines. Both the boats, bum to bum. Uh, how cool is this? This is something that I've wanted to do for years. I saw Gene Machine and Gene Chaser do it years ago on Instagram. And ever since then, I've wanted the opportunity to pull this off. So uh, awesome, Gene Machine. Thank you for the uh, inspiration, but I think we did it better. So uh, <laughs> how cool is this? Okay, so we've just run in from the yacht and we're now in the town of Miet. Uh, all the guests are just behind me here getting fitted out with their e-bikes. We're gonna go on a really cool ride up over the hill and around the lake here. Uh, after that, uh, we're gonna come back, have a nice cold frosty brew, cause it is hot here. And then we're gonna cruise back to the boat. Uh, Few people have asked in the comments what sunscreens we wear and what we're provided with on board the yacht. And uh, we all use Cooler brand. It is a really cool brand. Uh, it's all organic and uh, days like today, it's bro, it's a hundred and something degrees, mid to high thirties. Cooler brand is what we all wear. It's uh, one that we provide to all the guests on board and it is a great sunscreen. It doesn't stick. It's, you know, really looks after us. So uh, it's what I like to use when I'm out in the sun on days like today. What's happening here, Kofi? You know, we're just doing what we do best. A bike ride, giving the guests a tour. It's all happening. It's all happening, it's all happening. right here, right now. Live, in person. In Milje. <laughs> Why am I doing this? <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> How awesome is this? Blair and I have dropped back to keep just the guests out of the video, but uh, I mean, wow, this is such a spectacular spot. Uh, it's hot though, Woo, it is warm. Uh, of course, one of the guests' bikes broke and somehow I drew the short straw and so I'm now just riding a really heavy non-e-bike. <laughs> so that hill uh, going back home is gonna be good fun. I think I might have to poach Blair's at that point. <laughs> But uh, but it was such a cool ride. Now we're on the flat. I mean, this is just spectacular. It's definitely one of our favorite activities to do while here in Croatia. You know, you get out, get a little bit of exercise, see some beautiful landscape, you know, go for a ride. What, what, you know, what's better than this? Really cool.
So behind me is the St. Mary Island with the St. Mary Church, uh, built by the Benedicts, uh, Benedict monks in uh, the late 12th century. Uh, in 1808, Napoleon came, abolished the island, kicked the monks out, and then the island kind of went into ruin. It was taken over by pirates and uh, kind of just laid dormant until 1960 when it was turned into a hotel. From 1960 to 1991, it ran as a hotel. And then after that, it was returned to the Catholic Church. Nowadays, it has been completely restored and it is a uh, tourist attraction and a really cool uh, place to come out. We're not actually going to go there today. I guess just want to do the ride around the island, but they've got the little e-ferries here, electric ferries, so they're not polluting the lake and uh, you can run back and forth to the main town. Really cool little uh, monastery that we uh, can often go check out on our trips. Oh, how nice is this water? Oh, this is good. This Needed is... it. Nice cool down. Yeah. Well, we got it. You gotta get up yeah. that hill. Oh, <laughs> that hill's gonna be big. That hill's gonna be brutal. At least you found someone to trade out the e bike. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stop the video here, but I just wanna say a massive thank you for making it this far in the video. This is one of our favorite videos so far. We really hope you enjoyed it. We have an amazing part three coming later on in the week. It should be out around Thursday, 8 p.m. CET. So stay tuned for that. If you're watching this after Thursday, it'll be linked in the description of this video for the part three. And I also wanna say about 60% of you are not subscribed to our channel and we really, really are trying to get to 100,000 followers by the end of the year. So if you could please subscribe to our channel, that would be amazing. Uh, we'd really appreciate that as it's a really big goal of ours and we are pushing as hard as possible to get there. And also if you haven't already, go check out our Instagram. There's more live updates happening there every single day. You can follow us exactly what's happening on board and yeah. That's all we have for you this week, so stay tuned for Thursday for part three. Cheers. My name is Jason. My name is Jeff. Uh, and I like to party. <laughs> a little bit, little bit higher, Paul. Dom, a little bit to the left. A little bit more. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Thanks, guys. Okay. Th thanks, guys. You guys do a great job here. Yeah. Ours and Boots and Bennett's. Play. What's happened is I got really sick of Sean and I decided to upgrade him with this guy. Woo! Got to cut, cut the top off and then you really want to just place it down. Um, you want to get yourself some double sided tape that we don't have <laughs> um, because Paul always steals my double sided tape and uh, when we need it, it's uh, been placed somewhere just like the bridge pins. Um, then you're going to stick it to the top. <laughs> just like the bridge pins. <laughs>